Oh yeah! Welcome everybody to another exciting episode. I'm kind of sore today because I've been working out, trying to get back into my wrestling shape that I was a long time ago, so I've been really training hard. Anyways, another thing I want to talk about is I have been playing the original black and white Game Boy here, Burger Time Deluxe, which came out in 1991. Fantastic game. The original came out in uh, 1982 by Data East. And I saw the commercials look like a fun, very fantastic game. Now, I did not see the game till at least 1988, 1989. I know it came out on television and a bunch of the old computers. Unfortunately, I did not see it. It came out in 1987, Nintendo NES. And I finally rented the game around 1988, 1989 from Blockbuster when you could rent games. So, rented the game and thought it was fantastic. It lived up to its expectations. Now you play as a character named uh, Chef Peter Pepper, and he can climb it up and down these uh, ladders to different levels, and their ingredients spread out along each uh, level of a hamburger. So first you knock down the bun by walking across it, and it'll fall down the platform until it falls onto a plate. And then there's the hamburger itself, and then there's the tomato, and then the bun. And you walk across it, knock it down, and make your hamburger. And while you're doing that, you have to watch out because you're being chased by food. You're being chased by an evil hot dog, an evil egg, and an evil pickle, <laughs> of all things. Anyways, the game is, uh, it sounds crazy, but it's fun. And you have at your disposal uh, pepper. You have limited supply. I think you start off with about four, four sprinkles, three to four, something like that. And you can sprinkle it on an enemy that's chasing you, and they'll be stunned for about three to five seconds. Gives you a chance to run through them, get away, make your escape, and try to make your hamburger. So anyways, fantastic game. And it finally came out on the Game Boy Black and White here, 1991. And when I played it, I didn't play that actually till later also. I found out later about it, uh, probably around 1995 I found out about it. And when I picked it up finally, I thought it was fantastic. It improves a lot of the formula on the original. A lot of new elements of the game and some new uh, things to collect besides pepper so it's a fantastic game and it has a little bit more of a story mode to it uh, finally data east went bankrupt in 2003 and then they were a lot of their properties their games were bought out by a company called gmode gbo gmode owns uh is one of the games is the uh burger time and Burger Time has since resurfaced a few times on the uh, PlayStations, uh, a few different PlayStations, I think PlayStation 3 and so on. So anyways, fantastic game. And now I'm going to show you the original commercial that I, I liked on this system. And then I'm going to show you the gameplay. And just so you guys know, it won't look just like a camera focusing on this. It'll look much better. So anyways, without further ado, I'm going to switch over. Introducing Burger Time, the home video game where you're a chef being chased by food that constantly disagrees with you, like hot dogs that have a taste for revenge, Burger Time. eggs that don't turn over easy, and pickles that are very, very sour. Burger Time. Now for a television, coming this fall for Atari 2600. Burger Time. From Mattel Electronics, don't be surprised if you were on the menu. Okay, so let's get this thing started. This is Burger Time Deluxe for the Game Boy. Original black and white. As you can see, the Mr. Donut, Nut and Donut is the new enemy, the new evil boss in charge. So he's sending out the hot dogs, and I believe that's a pickle. The little thing, the little circle there. So, I really enjoy this game, climbing up the levels here. You can squash them by dropping the ingredients on them. forgot to mention that earlier in the video. And you can also you time it right. Let me go down here. Ooh, that was close. Got myself some extra pepper. And you get a little extra bonus points. You can make them fall down on top of the ingredients. The only problem is I... Oops. I forgot when they fall, it doesn't kill them. So they just kind of ride it until the, where, where the ingredient stops. So I made a mistake there, forgot about that. And 
you can see, it looks pretty fantastic for limited hardware of the Game Boy. Oh, there's more pepper up there. Can I get it? So, like I said, it runs, it runs really good. Uh, I'm impressed with what they did, level design. It's just a very fun game. It's a game I keep coming back to over the years. I still haven't beaten it, actually. There's seven levels. And I believe there's three or four sections per level. And it's very fun. And I only see Pickle and Hot Dog here. I'm not sure if there's egg. I'm not, I don't remember on this one. I'll be playing it. We'll find out together. My goal is to actually beat this game. So I cleared that. Made one little mistake. As you can see, this one's the, the ladders and everything's laid out a little differently. Pretty challenging plates at the bottom, dropping the ingredients. Squash me a hot dog. Very creative idea back in the day. Whoa, that was close. I escaped that. I have to use pepper to get pepper, so didn't really gain anything on that one. Chef Peter Pepper, do your thing. Make some hamburgers. I love hamburgers. Great protein for working out. Not those fat McDonald's hamburgers, you know, I'm talking about mom and pops or make your own at home hamburger stuff. Nothing like a good old hamburger. And got me a burger. There we go. Oh, that one looks like a deluxe. Deluxe hamburger there in the middle one. As you can see, Chef Peter Pepper is making some burgers. And as you see, this level is a little more challenging because there's only two ladders up to the very top to get the last bun. Oh, that's an extra man, I believe, so that's cool. I'll take an extra man. That was something new I added. Oh, I thought I was going to drop him, but he turned last second, so that's cool. Let me go down and stack these hamburgers. Now see, there's only two ladders up, so I have to be creative on this one. I had to use two peppers because they were so such distance from each other that I had no choice but to use two to stun each one to get through. I have to go down and get that hamburger patty. Problem is, they are there, and I have how many peppers do I have left? Two. One. Everybody's stunned, and hamburgers made in a thousand points. It's very cool. It's got like a little cutscenes here and there to this game. I think I've only seen one of them because I haven't gotten that far to the second world I think and I keep losing it. It's a challenging game. Okay, let's go over here. Let him ride the bun down. Squash him. Yeah, see I only see pickles and hot dogs on this one. Maybe because of the graphic limitations. I figured they could only do two enemies, unless there's ones that show up in other worlds, I don't know. It'd have been cool if they added like uh, new enemies, like french fries or something, chasing you. Sort of like a french fries in like a, a container like McDonald's or something like that. So you could distinguish them. Ouch. He got me. Nothing's worse than getting attacked by a six foot tall wiener. Okay, let's see here. Ah! There we go. Hamburger done. It's a fun game. I really like it. Oh yeah, it has a password system. I forgot to tell you that. So you have to know the pictures. Oh, there are eggs. You saw the eggs in the password at least. They look like hard boiled eggs. And the graphics, like I say, uh, this is the original, uh, pretty impressive for the original Game Boy Black and White. Everything's very distinguishable. Extra man, I'll take that. Everything's very well thought out, laid out. Gameplay is really fun. And let's see. Ooh, gotta get. Ooh, almost got. Almost got me. And as you can see, everything's laid out really well. I don't know what that is. Like coffee. I'm not sure. Coffee's always good. 
anyone know what that was, let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below if you guys played this game or played the series in general. I would like to see what it looks like on the newer systems. The uh, I believe it was PlayStation 3 I saw on the internet said, and maybe PlayStation 4. Arcade Live, Xbox, something like that too also. So I would like to see what the new newer ones look like. I bet it's a lot of fun. I think it also came to Android or iOS. So, very curious. I may actually have to go look and hunt those down too. For my GPDXD and then maybe do some gameplay of that. Very fun game. I cleared it. So I believe oh, this one looks a challenging one the way it's laid out. Hmm. There's Mr. Pickle. I haven't seen the egg though on this anywhere. Is he seen any hard boiled eggs yet? Strange. It's in the password though. So obviously they can create the graphics for it. So it must show up uh, in the later worlds. At least I, I would hope so. There's pepper. I'll take some pepper. Thank you. How many peppers do I have? Only, that's the only pepper I have, so I better use it in emergency. Ooh, I almost died there. I was thinking of going to get that bun, but I got confused. Oh, I can squash a bunch. Oh, nope. Give him ride down, somebody. Made a hamburger out of that. Okay, let's go up here. Oh boy, oh no, oh no. Woo, that was close. I'm trying to go up and down these ladders to get my hamburger made. I only need to make that bun. Done deal. Good job, Peter Pepper. I believe this is Peter Pepper, not Peter Pepper Jr. In some of the later ones, his son takes over, so. But I believe this is still Peter Pepper. What a fun game. Ooh, that was close. That was too close. I am... See, as you can see, it's challenging because you, you have to figure out how to trick them to go down certain ladders and you run a different way. It's kind of like tag or something. It's fun. Very fun game. Oh, didn't have any pepper. I thought I did. Darn, one, it's my last man too. Let's see if I can do anything good with it. This is going to be tough. It's a challenging level. This is usually where I always die around. I run out of men. Oh, yeah, they got me. So anyways, game over. That is it for Burger Time Deluxe. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. And don't forget to hit the like button. Share, subscribe, and as always, everybody, have a good one. Take care, everybody. Thank you, my friend.